Hey YouTubers, this is your girl, Julie. So um, I figured I would do an introduction because um, the last video I didn't do an introduction. So my name on YouTube is Julie Monet. Yes, so if you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me at J-U-L-I-E-N-N-E -N -N -E dot M-O-O-R-E at gmail.com or you can follow me on Instagram at J-U-M-O-N-A-E. So special shout out to two of my girls, Renini. Hey girl! And Tiny, yes, they requested um, for me to do a brow demo, maybe I want to say about two or three years ago. So anyway, so I'm going to do a brow demo and I'm going to show you guys how I do my brows. I'm going to show you a natural way to do your brows and I'm going to show you a more clean way to do your brows. So, products I like to use, NYX Brow Pencil, um, I'm not sure of the color, black, right? That's when I want to go for something like really dramatic, sharp, um, edgy, give you that Gwen Stefani with the blonde and the, the red lip. It's my favorite, by the way. Um, also, I like to use Spiked. That's when I'm going for something... Spiked, Spiked, Spiked. When I'm going for something a little more natural, Boy Brow, obviously everyone knows it's my favorite. Um, a couple of things to do when working with um, a natural brow and a sharp brow. Concealer, okay? Pro Long Wear. This is great for someone who has oily skin. Um, someone who wants their concealer to look as natural as possible and it's matte finish. Great for under the eye. Someone like myself, I crease a lot. I'm very oily so I use it all the time. Um, Prep and Prime, Bright Forecast, Radiant, uh, I forgot the other names, Radiant something and Light Boost. These are awesome to have in your kit and awesome to have as a daily makeup wearer. These are great for um, highlighting when you want to put on your makeup and you're like wow I need more highlight well you could pull out your prep and prime highlighter pen and just create the highlight under the eyes under the brows you can also accentuate the cheekbones the chin the lip the nose and your forehead okay so another creaseless um, concealer that I am so obsessed with it works so great, especially when you want to have that dewy highlight, is a Tarte um, Creaseless Concealer. This stuff is awesome. Plus, I love the packaging. It's kind of edgy. Gives you like that girly edgy. It has gold and purple. Anyway, so this is a really good um, concealer to use in general. I don't really use it under my brows, but I'm showing it to you guys just because it's one of my favorites. Okay? And then also, our best friend, Studio Finish. Everyone loves this. It's good for oily skin. Actually, it's good for all skin types, but a lot of oily skin tend to like it because it still looks smooth once you produce a little bit of oil throughout the day. Okay? So, um, brushes I'm going to be using is 266. It's an angle brush. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. Yes. This is awesome when you're drawing on your brows with eyeshadow. Um, I forgot to say that I'm also going to use handwritten with spiked. This is a uh, palette form obviously. It's handwritten. This gives your brows um, that rich reddish brown look when you're when you want something that's like you want that sharp but still with the boy brow fierce look. Okay? And then 252, my all-time favorite. This is what I use to highlight my brows with. If you look it has a very tapered edge. That's what creates that sharpness and then you have the fluffy part of it if you look at it and what that does is you can blend it back and forth and you can also use it for your eyeshadows primers things like that okay so I'm gonna start with the fierce brow um oh it's my jam turn down for what hey anyways so all right let's start with the NYX brow this is black, okay? So what you want to do is first you want to smooth out the brow. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth, okay? You want to establish that you have a shape, okay? So you start by drawing a straight line at the bottom. Now my brows are done so it makes it a little easier to work with. And I always tell people to do like check marks. 
Because if you do check marks, you don't create like those harsh lines and like the inside to be dark, the outside to be light. Just stay in the same motion and hold your product at the end of it. So hold your brush at the end, hold your pencil at the end. Okay, so you want to just do check marks. Check marks. Mm. And then I always like to bring this in just a little bit because I'm dramatic for whatever reason. I like it to be more faded at the beginning. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so you see? Straight, clean. Obviously, like I said, my brows are done, so it makes it a little easier to do. Check marks, check marks, check marks, check marks. Always remember that when doing brows. You don't want to draw them more. You don't want to look like you're trying to look like a cartoon. Okay. And then I always do this a little bit just to fade it into the skin a little bit. Okay. So you have that side, right? Your black brow. Uh, I'm gonna switch it over and go into my boy brow. Just so I don't have one brow. This just looks weird. Okay, so now I'm gonna use Spiked for my other brow. And I also want you to see the color difference before I highlight this brow, obviously. Okay, so now, same thing, check marks. Remember, hold your pencil at the end. That is gonna give you a soft touch. And then I always draw like a little tail, okay? And then the keys of the boy brows, you want everything to look kind of wispy. So I take it and I do little, little things like that. Even if it's very subtle, it doesn't matter because it'll still like give you like that look without having it too dark. So it's, you know, like when you see people on the runway and it's like, um, the brows are like full, but you can tell like they're drawn, obviously, because they don't always have the best brows on the runway. Those girls um, get their brows done prior. Mm -hmm. So that's my boy brow. Not that much of a difference, but you see this is like shark black, and this is more wispy brown. Oh, um, let me just. I would say you want to make the line a little clean though, so you don't look like you have a unibrow being created. And I sometimes go over my line again once I'm done, just so the bottom is established. Okay. See that? See the difference how this one, oh, let me put a little more, how this one is a little more fuzzy? Where this one's a little more sharp. And you also can tell in the face shape. This is something more like you want to do something natural. This is more something sharp. Like I wouldn't do a smoky eye with this look. Just because sometimes it looks too heavy. I may still do a natural eye. But I will definitely go in more sharp and more clean with my blending. Whereas this side, it could be pretty much anything but more diffused. Um, I love this look for the summer. I love this look for the winter. And also I love this look for when I go out. And I love this look for when I go out or when I just want to have brows, mascara, and lipstick. Like I would go out just like this, obviously with this brow. Okay. So now let's go into our concealer. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the eyeshadow. Da! Handwritten. Let me show you the beauty of handwritten. This is my jam, okay? So say like your boy brow, you're like, oh my God, the end's fuzzy and I want it to look nice. Okay, so what you do is you take the end of it. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm working on my angle. Okay, you take it at the end and kind of do like that. You see how that line is like that? How it's like real thin? I take my hand and kind of blend it in my skin. Like that, you see that? So it almost looks like it's snatched, right? And then take this part and do the same thing, but bring it down, all right? 
and blend it in the skin. Blend it in the skin. See that? How it's sharper at the end, but it's real sharp, right? But you want it to almost flow into the skin because the beauty of makeup, obviously you could take it off, but you want it to flow, everything to flow. You want your brows to flow in your skin, you want your eyeshadow to flow in your skin, you even want your eyeliner, you want your blush, everything to kind of flow. You don't want that hard, like, no, we, we don't do that, okay? We're not about that life. Anyways, okay. So now, I'm taking my brush, and I'm going to only do this side, because this side is good, right? Right, right? So let's see. Um, let's use Pro Longwear. Pro Longwear is easier to work with. I like to use creams and liquids, but like I said, um, it's all a preference. It's all based on skill level. Liquids tend to be a little bit more work because they're so loose, where cream just kind of goes in place. And also with cream, if you put a lot on the brush and then you put it underneath the brow, obviously it's going to it's going to be a lot, but it's not going to look runny. Whereas for the liquid, you have to kind of work it in and make sure that it doesn't do that that funny uh, liquid amount underneath the brow. Anyways, so drawing a straight line first. Draw a straight line like that. See that? Okay. It doesn't have to always be perfect. Practice makes permanent, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Let's put a little bit more. Just in case. And then just blend it down from that line. You don't want to go back to that line and manipulate the shape. Okay? You want to keep the line sharp and blend out. And there you go. And actually, like, sometimes I... I feel like sometimes it gets a little too highlighted, so I kind of go like this motion, right? And then I'll take one of my blending brushes, take my blending brush, and blend it in the skin. And I use my powder that I'm using on my face, also in my brow area. See? You have your sharp brow, and you have your boy brow. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions, please, at the bottom. Cut it from the bottom now we're here. Make sure you leave comments, questions. You can email me. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, I don't log in there often, but I will start logging in now that I have this YouTube thing jumping off. And if you guys have any critiques, you can email me and say, hey, you talk too fast, too slow music too loud, whatever. Let me know and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.